Growing up in San Bernardino, I knew that there was a lot of crime going on in the area and a lot of poverty, and I wanted to be a part of that impact and shaping it positively. For me, being a police officer is a calling. I enjoy helping people who can't help themselves. I want to be a mentor to little kids. I want to be someone that people can look up to. It's the, the leadership, it's the caring of people. It's just something in you that you feel. The vision that we're trying to shape here, first, first and foremost, is a better person. Because I think we can shape officers all day, but if you don't have that person as a foundation, the officer may feel that they can not do the right thing. Class Port on! My goal is to make everybody the best that they can possibly be. Everybody gets the same attention. They get the same focus of information, things that will make them that much better than other folks that they're competing with. Clear that intersection. The actual caliber of uh, candidates coming from the Extended uh, Academy are outstanding. We actually hired two last year. So the training that I received here at the Extended Academy helped me with probation and the Sheriff's Department. All the instructors at the Academy had years of service and it's just a wealth of information. High visual horizon, you guys. Everything. We have got to see everything. The extended program is designed for that individual that perhaps has a full-time job and has a family and they're striving or perhaps seeking a career change and they want to get into law enforcement. It's the perfect program for that individual. I didn't want to be a radiologist anymore. It does allow me to balance work, my schooling, and then time with my daughter. Somebody that puts themselves through the program shows motivation to any law enforcement agency or police department that's looking for recruits that these students have gone through the process, put themselves through, and are ready to become law enforcement officers. They get to see firsthand how this law enforcement family really works. We have young men, older men, women, our Latino population, our African American population, all represented in the academies now and even in the past. The society that we live in is very diverse, and I think it's important that law enforcement represents the communities that they serve. We do have a high rate of female trainees coming through who are successful and they are able to go out into the community and provide them with all the tools they need to apply and to be successful. I love patrolling the campus. I feel like it's very rewarding. I was a student here, so now getting to work here, I love it. Well, I put myself through, I paid for the training, all my uniforms. It was hard. I did use a couple credit cards. But the good thing about this academy is they practice with you. They want to see you succeed. They want you to be successful and be safe in your career. Our goal is to develop the best police officer trainee that we can. Officers that understand not only the letter of the law, but also understand the spirit of the law. We're going to push you. We're going to encourage you. We're going to motivate you. But the effort comes from you. And if you put forth the effort, I'm confident that your success will follow. Trainee Courtney Harris. Trainee Nicholas Shaw. Trainee Corbin Ballesteros. Trainee Rachel Warrow. Trainee Taj Bantha. Trainee Ahmed from Bangladesh. Nashville, Tennessee. Los Angeles. Downtown San Bernardino. The camaraderie over here is amazing. See some of these people as you know, family. It makes you become more mature. It's fun. It's kind of make or break. It's achievable.